Your Excellency, my name is Ibrahim Dangombo, representing Gombe North. IPS, Your Excellency, is one of the initiatives and reforms program of the federal government from 2003 to date. And I have been privileged to chair the implementation of IPS. Before IPS, salaries of the federal government are paid through allocation. Allocation in the budget in the sense that Ministry A is given any amount, B is given any amount, C any amount. And that is how it goes. And there were a lot of leakages and there were a lot of loopholes. So the federal government decided to centralize the payment to make sure that each COBO that goes out of the treasury is accounted for. And that was exactly how the IPS implementation started. So one million license was acquired to register six ministries. And when we started the data capture in 2007, by the time we finish the six ministries, less than one-tenth of the license that was acclaimed or assumed to would have been utilized was used. So, and the expansion and the enrollment continued. By the time I left as Accountant General in 2010, we had not finished utilizing the licenses. So maybe one of the challenges might be in the acquisition of more license to capture more people. But I must say, as at that time, the federal government has saved billions of naira. It's one of the best reform program of federal government that was praised and appreciated by everybody. Secondly, because the implementation was in phases, when it reached the time of the universities, like somebody said that the university can employ any number of people they wanted to employ and just pass the bill to the federal government. The IPs is integrated personnel and payroll. Personnel. So there must be adequate record. You cannot just wake up and say you will employ. You cannot just wake up and say you will dismiss. You cannot just wake up and say you can do increment or do this thing and do not in a structured personnel management system. And those are the issues that has been lingering between ASU and the federal government. I think these are entirely a different thing. Maybe there are more things that happen between ASU and federal government. But in this matter, like you said, it is not the problem of the technology IPs, but it's more of the problem of people that are implementing the technology. Of course, if you are getting press and you want to be a role quickly, some people will go behind and do anything. So that allegation may be correct. And anywhere, any human management system that can give you money or that gives money, and, 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 and if you are not careful, people may be tempted to take advantage of that system. So I think it's more of the technology. It's not, more, not of the technology, but of the people. So I support, as a pioneer uh, promoter of this program, that it should be investigated so that appropriate measures can be put in place to ensure that Nigeria continue to benefit frauds are eliminated or minimized and ensure efficiency in the payment of wages and salary in Nigeria. I saw some it, Mr. Chief. Thank you. So we look at the prayers. Prayer one, set up an ad hoc committee to investigate allegations of bribery and corruption of IPPIS 
officials at various universities across the nation delayed capturing and payment of staff of federal government-owned universities who were recruited as far back as 2020 and to make a report on the status of the disagreement between the federal government and ASU on the use of either the IPPIS or UT, UTAS, UTAS as a preferred payment platform for Nigerian university staff. Uh, any comments or any? Yes, uh, Deputy the, the, the President, you want to? Yes, uh, I, before I make my amendment,